we are blessed at Pratham with very good leadership. And what they bring to the organization is an amazing clarity of vision and an amazing clarity of the mission. And the mission of Pratham is very straightforward. It is to improve literacy of our children in India. I mean, the thing is, in India, the problem is not so much unemployment, it's underemployment. Gross, gross underemployment, so that's, that's what we need to solve. One of the biggest surprises when I first started investing in India in, in a large way was how it was quite the opposite of the situation in the U.S. In the U.S., when you come to a certain age, people send you resumes of their <coughs> sons, their daughters, their nephews, their friends, and, you know, say, can you help find this person a job? And, you know, it's not going to be easy. In India, and I keep repeating this, I can find a job for anybody at any level. You know, as somebody that was willing to work as a barista in a, in a coffee shop, a waiter, a salesman, an engineer, a CEO. Every one of those, I can find a job for a person who's qualified to do that. The issue is having the people qualified to do that. So I uh, just want to turn to the uh, issue of skill development. You know, I, I think there's no question education over the intermediate long term is, is the critical factor. It, it's really it, it, you know, educating India to a degree where people are prepared for the full range of jobs. But I think in this case, uh, China is somewhat instructive. I mean, there are, there are two areas that drove job growth, rapid job growth at the, at the, at the, at the fastest part of their development. It was manufacturing and infrastructure, uh, i.e. I. construction, real estate development, et cetera. And I think anything that India can do, right, frankly, to stimulate, and, and I know the Prime Minister has talked a lot about this, dramatically stimulate manufacturing and dramatically stimulate the development of infrastructure, those will create jobs at scale. And, and I think that's what India needs is jobs at scale. If there's one big thing that keeps me awake at night is what Mukesh said, that we are going to be a labor force that is a working age population of a billion people in 2050. The world has not seen that larger labor force. And one way I try to crystallize this idea is will India become rich before it becomes old? Because we will become old. And when you take a billion working age population that eventually is going to become senior citizens, if India is not rich enough to pay for that, for their health care, for their pensions, for all the things that senior citizens need, that is going to be the root of a tremendous amount of social unrest in India. And so I think that sense of urgency that every day that passes when we are not able to make progress on a whole range of issues, but in particular the employability of youth, is a day that's going to never come back. My, my feeling is uh, India being such a uh, vibrant environment, it, it is the private sector, it is the institution like Pratham, uh, which have to take the lead and try to solve this issue one bit at a time. There's no one single solution to this issue itself. Since India was traditionally known as being a BPO, business process outsourcing destination, and we're starting to see this transition to a consumption-based economy and one that is focused more on innovation, but I think the more that we can do to create this opportunity for the, the children of India, the millennials, to take on that entrepreneurial spirit and move an idea to a startup, uh, whether it be through the government's uh, motives to create these accelerators and tech hubs, um, more programs like that that perhaps will allow India's young to uh, embrace entrepreneurship. There is no doubt we have tons of challenges, corruption, infrastructure, lack of bond market, something very near and dear to my heart and many of us. But there is nothing that would be a bigger travesty than not to fulfill the promise of these beautiful minds that we produce at a, you know, uh, massive rate in India and there is no better organization in my view I'm biased uh, than Pratham no better cause no better mission um, so please those of you who don't know it I would encourage you know Deepak mentioned the website just look up Pratham on Google and you'll know where to go I don't need to tell you anymore thanks again for coming have a wonderful evening